A classic Caribbean pasta dish. Here's how to make creamy and flavorful jerk chicken rasta pasta. So I always start off with prepping my ingredients and getting all of the chopping out of the way. I'm starting off by slicing some bell peppers. Now rasta pasta is all about the different colors of the bell peppers. So I'm using three different colors here and I'm chopping the equivalent of about half of a medium bell pepper in each different color. So in total, that's about one and a half bell peppers. Then I'm going to dice up two to three garlic cloves and also I'm going to chop up one spring onion stalk. And like that, your chopping is out of the way. Now it's time to prepare the chicken. So I've got two chicken breasts and I'm just going to slice them in half lengthways in order to butterfly the chicken. So not a perfect job here, but maybe you can do it a bit better than me. Then you want to cover the chicken in some cling film and if you've got a rolling pin use that or otherwise just use whatever you can find in the kitchen to smash the chicken down. So what we're trying to do is get the chicken nice and thin and this will help it to cook faster. Now to season it, so I've got some salt, garlic granules, black pepper, some chicken seasoning and some all purpose and a bit of oil to help all of those dry seasonings mix into the chicken and you cannot forget the jerk marinade as well which i actually almost forgot i'm adding this here after and again i'm mixing it all together so we're going to start to cook and bring it all together i've got some coconut oil here i'm letting that heat up for a few minutes and then i'm just going to cook my chicken so you want to cook your chicken for about five minutes on a hot temperature on both sides 10 minutes in total, flipping over halfway. Here you can see I'm just chopping my chicken and seeing that it is cooked, fully cooked inside. And then I'm taking it away and I'm gonna save it for later. Now we're going to start to combine those ingredients that we chopped earlier. So I start with my garlic cloves and my spring onions, cook those down a bit. I also cook down my bell peppers and then I add in some chicken broth made using a chicken stock cube. After that's cooked for a bit, you wanna add in your cream, about 200 milliliters of that mix everything together and then we can get to start to season this mix. So I'm adding some all purpose, some paprika, some black pepper, and once again, I'm adding a little bit of jerk marinade. I also chuck in some fresh thyme. And again, we wanna heat this up and cook this together for a few minutes. Then you wanna add just a little bit of cheese you don't want it to be too cheesy unless you are a big cheese lover, which I am not. And we just want to mix this all together. While that is cooking down for about 10 minutes, I'm going to start to slice up my chicken breast. Now what we're going to do is take some of this chicken breast and combine it into our mixture. And some of it we're going to use as a little garnish to go on top later on, but that's purely for presentation. Here I'm starting to combine my pasta. So behind the scenes, I've cooked about 300 grams of penne pasta as per instructed on the pack. You wanna mix this all together and then you want to start to add in your chicken as well. Once this has mixed together, sat together, heated, cooked for a final two to five minutes, garnish it with some parsley and again, combine everything together and like that as easy as that you are done so i'm serving up a very big plate here is that leftover chicken that's just making it look like a chef's kiss and then again i'm garnishing it with some parsley all for the optics if you like this recipe please remember to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one